Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different from the norm. As many of you probably know, there's this whole other story with the club activities, um, with the school stories that I went through. It took me like a week almost of streams to get through all of it. And so I felt like it was too much to include in these videos. But when I did the final part of that, it was so amazing. I really wanted to include it on this channel. So this is going to be that kind of final part of that where everything comes together and the conclusion. This video will probably only be interesting to people who have themselves played through the school stories or have at least seen it being played. So if that's not you, then this is totally something that you could skip, but I just love this so much that I just really had to put this out here. So I hope you guys will enjoy the finale to the school stories. Yagami-san. Ready, Yagami-san? I'm so ready. From here on, the school stories will commence the truth. Once it starts, everything else will be put on hold until you clear it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, good to go. Well then, let's look back on each incident the MRCs investigated so we can hopefully gain a better perspective. Okay. Go down the down the list. The dance Suspicious. club. He didn't take this case. In the dance club, Micah Takanashi got her sugar baby gigs through the professor's message board. Oh, he did do that part though. Sugar baby gigs. Mm -hmm. This was what led us to discovering the actual site on the dark web. Students post on the site by using an exclusive browser and registered by using their student IDs. In other words... As such, we've come to the conclusion that the professor has a very advanced knowledge of computer networking and programming. Yeah. That, or he's got someone on his crew with the knowledge. Now that you mention it. As for Takanashi-san's motive for becoming a sugar baby, that was a rather unexpected development. Yeah. Yeah, the person who Takanashi went through all that effort for was... Um... It was Itakura. Otoko Itakura. Last semester, Itakura was the chairman of the Cultural Festival Committee. Takanashi was a member of that committee, too. But... The other members got sick of Itakura's poor attitude and eventually began ignoring her. By the end of it, everyone had turned their backs on her. Yes. It had to have been rough. Hmm. At any rate, the result was a colossal failure of a cultural festival, and Itakura-san hadn't been seen in class ever since. Thus, the identity of the dance club sugar baby was revealed, but the case didn't end there. Someone by the username of Dancing Bunny posted a request for a physical assault of Norizuki-san, captain of a rival dance troupe. And the person who requested the hit turned out to be a bit of a surprise to us. Yeah true identity of the poster who requested the attack on Yuri, Yurie Norizuki is... Komekado. It was the dance club advisor. <laughs> Komekado. Use Nishizono's Dancing Bunny account to make the request. Except, according to Sakakiba, the professor actually never granted the request, despite the generous offer from Komikado. Mm -hmm. What we can deduce from this is that the professor's motive behind his machinations are not actually monetary in nature. It does make me wonder what the professor's criteria is for selecting posts. Okay. What the? The leader of Made in Heaven, Yuma Suo, he went from the disciplinary committee to a biker gang practically overnight. Yes. It turned out that Suo-kun's mother had forbade him from participating in motocross, so he was doing what he could to suppress that desire of his while still having an outlet for it. I 
Maybe the professor is the freaking, not principal, but what's his name? Okay, so from looking at just these two clubs or these two requests, the chairman, once two students went back to school as a result, it turns out Suokun's mother had forbade him from participating in motocross, so he was doing what he could to suppress the desire of his while still having an outlet for it. But I mean, that's because Yagami came in. Otherwise, they wouldn't have probably ended up going well. I don't know. Right, and the professor picked up on that jealousy, so he exploited it. By, my, by manipulating Suo through certain means. The letter from the disciplinary committee suggestion box. Apparently, he was tipped off by a letter found in the committee's suggestion box from a Prof M. Pretty safe to say that was the professor. Mm -hmm. This was supported by the fact. Wait, no, no, no. But then... Who, kudo, whatever the guy who's in, who's in contact with the professor called the professor a brat. So it couldn't be the chairman. This was supported by the fact that the letter was dropped off directly in the committee's suggestion box. Since it's located on campus, I find it highly unlikely that the professor attends or works at our school. Yagami-san. We mustn't forget, though, there was one more key figure in this case. An individual connected to the neo Kehin gang. Yeah. Yeah, and that would be... Connected to the neo Kehin gang? Was, was Dan connected to them? I don't remember. Anasaki, no. I, was it Dan? Because he... He came with a bunch of people from the Kehin gang, right? When we fought, when we erased him? I don't remember. I'm just gonna pick this one. Dan Murasaki, aka Ghost. He's the younger brother of the legendary gang founder, Reiji Murasaki. Dan's goal was to rise to the top of the Ajinsho underworld so he could step out from his brother's shadow and make a name for himself. Koga, the neo Kehin gang's leader, took notice of him and used his ambition for their own gain. They were trying to make up for their lack of heavy hitters by making Dan Murasaki the rep of Made in Heaven and recruiting him to the neo Kehin gang. Now that you mention it, this Koga really must have wanted to win the professor's favor, given how he thought of this as a sort of offering to the professor. Okay. Oh, my favorite! Suspicious. The Robotics Club. Robotics Club. I nosed around there after reports of robot cat purses in the city. As a result, we discovered that the thieving robot's designer was... Rumazaki. Rumazaki-kun. <sighs> To be honest, I had suspected Okitagawa-kun. It's a shame I misjudged the truth. Luckily, we were able to get our hands on something juicy at that lab. A key piece of evidence that points towards the professor's motive behind instigating all this criminal behavior. What's a key piece of evidence that points towards the professor's motive? The order notes. Professor has ordered eight students of Serio High to be led to a life of crime. Crime, one of whom being Kurumazaki kun. It's possible the professor's motives might be hiding in that fact. That would be the copies of the email correspondence with the professor, which we found on the lab's laptop. The professor was explicitly plotting with the Neo Kehin gang to turn Rumazaki kun and seven other specific students to the wrong side of the law. In other words, so eight students total. We still don't know why he chose them. But 
I believe finding that out will be the key to discovering the professor's identity. Man, I... I don't have any idea of who's behind this. Which is pretty exciting. Uh-huh. Hey. Okay, the boxing gym. I really liked the story for this one a lot. The Todoroki boxing gym. This is the payback boxer case. Some masked kid kept picking fights with martial arts experts and other rough and tumble types out in the streets. And in the end, we figured out who he really was. Kenya Oshikiri. It was Kenya Oshikiri. He's a former karate club member who turned out to be the wonder, wonderkind of Todoroki's gym. In fact, we even have evidence of Oshikiri's motive. His motive was... The fixed match evidence. Oshikiri only entered the Genbukai to try and overcome his fear of his father, Udo. Problem is, he found out that all his fights were fixed in his favor. Favor. His champion status was a setup for the showrunners to line their pockets. In other words... And he learned it from the professor, who sent him all the evidence he needed to see the truth for himself. Which means... Which le leads us to the question, why would the professor reveal his own hand like that? In other words... Had this news of match fixing leaked to the public, people would stop betting. The Genbukai racket would be done for. We can at least assume that money is not the motive. If I have this right. Looks like the professor's motive is a major key to solving this case. I don't know. Who else we got? Suspicious. Shinosuke Shikishima, the leader of the Ijinsho Hounds, a local skateboarding community. He's also the culprit responsible for drawing the graffiti art that suddenly appeared on the walls of Seiryo. The professor just so happened to be the motif of that graffiti. Yeah. Shikishima received a direct request from the professor via the website's private messaging system. That was what led him to tag the school. Graffiti is the perfect blend of crime and art. Hmm. Hey. Oh god, the photography club! I don't even want to think about this one. Kanto Hikawa, former president of the photography club. He'd been blackmailing Saiga Sensei to save up for his college tuition. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the professor's website, Hikawa kun found out Saiga Sensei was having an affair. The professor supposedly reached out to Hikawa kun to make first contact rather than vice versa. In other words, which means Hikawa was one of the professor's targets. <sighs> What's the motive? What's the motive? Who's the professor? Esports club. Genya Sambomats, the head of Serio High's esports club. He cheated in competitions with a tool assisted joystick. Yes. He seems to have acquired the program in his joystick from the professor. And it's apparently too advanced for any normal high school student to have developed. In it, other words, which would mean the professor has unusually high technical skills. Uh huh. What the? Casino. Ohaku Hay Hayakawa, a female student in the board game club. She started going to an underground casino here in town looking for thrills. Since minors aren't usually allowed in casinos, Hayakawa got access by borrowing her me brother's membership card. She even impersonated her brother whenever she went to gamble. But... In the end, though, we learned she had nothing to do with the professor. Excuse me. Since her case won't contribute anything to our work on the professor, I'll go ahead and exclude it from our list. Bye. <laughs> Bye, girl. And lastly, girls bite. Suspicious. Mm -hmm. Emily S. Emily S. Mochizuki. Popular employee of the girls bar Girls Bite. Kizuna Ashihara. 
a third year at Serio, lied about his age and frequently visited her along with members of the Neo Kihin gang. Ashihara kun supposedly joined the Neo Kihin gang since thanks to his senpai. Yeah. That was the unique part about this case. Ashihara had no contact whatsoever with the professor. Wait a minute. In other words, he wasn't one of the professor's targets for delinquency. However, Ashihara kun happened to overhear some key info about the professor while he was at the Neo Kihin gang's hideout. Yeah. Yeah, when Koga hung up. After a certain phone call, he muttered something to himself. That brat. That brat. Supposedly, that's what Ashihara heard Koga say. The fact that he said brat must mean the professor is quite younger than Koga. He's most likely around 40, so we can expect the professor to be in his teens, maybe early 20s. I still don't know. Hi, Persecuta. We're trying to investigate. We're trying to investigate. Man. I think there's just, there's just too much information for me to like, even start to try to make any sense of putting it together in some kind of cohesive thing. I'm just gonna let it ride out and enjoy the show all right we've gone through all the information we have so far mm. the biggest thing we still don't know is the professor's motive behind selecting those eight specific students to lead astray yeah out of the eight we know one person for absolute certain kurumazaki kun in the robotics club yes correct now if we include the six individuals who we know were directly approached by the professor so if the if money isn't a if money isn't the motive then why would he get a high school student to create a, to build a robot to steal In other words we're up to 7 hmm one more person left. Which means... Assuming our theory is correct, there should be one student remaining who was led astray by the professor. Yeah. Yeah, who could it be? Maybe the student's actually been involved in illegal activity this whole time? And we just haven't caught wind of it yet? Yes. Perhaps you're right. We must figure out who this last individual is as soon as possible. Hmm? From Kento? Kento! Hello? What is it, Kento? Oh, sis. Thank God. Where are you right now? At HQ. With Yagami-san. Mm hmm Yagami-san's with you? Perfect. I'm actually at the Popo in front of the station right now, and I've got a bit of a situation. Hey! What's wrong? Hmm. Well, uh... Hey! You little bastard! <sighs> oh, crap. Kento? Sorry. Call you right back. Hey! What? Hmm. What was that? Everything all right? No. I'm not sure, but it sounds like Kento's in some kind of trouble. That's not good. Where is he? He said he's at the Popo in front of the station. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. Okay, well, come on then, girl. Let's go. I don't have a clue. The only person I, I just feel like is gonna, or maybe that I just hope is gonna be more in into this is uh, Itakura. But I, I mean, I don't know. I just I like her character. She's funny. Yagami-san. I'll check. I'll ask the clerk inside. I'll scope out the area. Hmm. Masawa, isn't that bag? Uh, uh -huh. It's Kento's. The wallet I gave him for his for his birthday is inside. Seriously? No way. I'll ask the clerk what happened. You stay here, Al Masawa. Yes. 
Okay. I see. So no idea where he went. Yagami-san! What happened to Kento? Apparently, he was here with a woman in her late 30s who was dressed, uh, amorously. Huh? An older woman? They both got dragged into a black car by some guys who looked like Yakuza. They just took off. No way! Yagami-san, do you think it was the neo Kahin gang? Maybe they grabbed him because we're getting closer to the professor? Hmm. It's hard to say. Whatever the reason, we need to find Kento-kun. If only we could figure out where they took him. <sighs> what should I do? Kento, where did you go? Find Kento-kun. Can we call the doggy? Can you think of some way to find my brother? The only clues he left behind are the bag and the wallet he dropped. Actually, I think we can put those to use. Oh. Actually, I don't know who's saying what. How? Let's just say a good detective always has the tool for the job, and this particular tool has a nose of its own. Yep. I knew it! I Time to you, call buddy. the dog. Who's a good boy? All right, let's go. Ah. I see. Ah, Rampo. How could I forget about him? <laughs> All right, Rampo. This is your time to shine. All right. With you. Atta boy. Which way? You got something? Which way? Is my dog broken? This way, huh? You got something? This way, huh? Look at, look at our little team of detectives here. Look at us. Detective dog, detective student, detective, detective. <laughs> you got something? Rompo or Chop? Gotta go with Rompo. <laughs> but actually, the real answer is, um... What's his name? The freaking dog from Ghost Missile, yes, Missile. Missile. He's the best dog. Best doggo. And Dokun should be around here. Mm. What is this place? You bastard! Kento! Hey, that's Kento's voice! This now's not the time to mess with the intercom. Time to beat up some people! Hey! Leave him alone! Uh, Kento kun! Yagami san! Huh? The fuck do you want? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> this <laughs> this whole series of stories has been great because Yagami just punches people without even saying anything. Uh. Right, like telling you is gonna change how this goes. I'll take every single one of you on. Bring it! What in the... What's this guy's deal? Let's just kill his ass. <laughs> Hello, Doc. Welcome. Let's go.
Kentokun? Are you all right? <coughs> Yagami-san, I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. What is going on? Sorry. I'm sorry, sis. Hey! Apologies are appreciated, but they aren't explanations. Now, explain yourself. So, actually... She was... my sugar mama. What the fuck? What was that? I'm sorry. You're what? So... Well, if a lady wants to date a younger guy, and she's willing to spend the money... Yeah, no, I get it. Opposite of sugar daddy. That's, uh, not what I mean. Turns out she's also seeing this guy who's kinda in the Yakuza. <sighs> you little idiot. Hey. How did you meet her in the first place? Is he the eighth student? Well, I, uh, used the professor's site. Kento! Kento, I need that meme. I need the Star Wars meme. You were the chosen one! Like, his sister has been... What? When did this happen? Before we started investigating or during? And he just thought, you know what? <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna try it myself. I know my sister's investigating this. She's probably gonna eventually crack down on this thing, but... Um... Okay, I need to know more. Huh? What? What? You've been posting there? In that horrible place? Sorry. Yeah, like I said, I'm really sorry. What? I can't believe you. All while, all while we were chasing after the professor. Um... Entokun, how long have you been doing this? Hmm. For, like, two months now? I started pretty soon after I first heard about the site. From a friend. I was just reading the site and posting for fun. Nothing serious. Then one day, I got a DM from the professor. It said, I'm well aware of your looks and social skills. You can make some serious spending money by doing this. And had a little job description after that. No way. So, you got the idea after the professor whispered in your ear. Now that you mention it. Yagami-san, the professor's goal is to make eight students become delinquent in some way or other, correct? Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty sure we know who seven of them are. Which means... Well, perhaps that last student is actually Kento? I guess so. You know, could be. <laughs> she's not even gonna reprimand him anymore. She's just back to her board. Ah, oh, fascinating. <laughs> we'll put my brother right here. Huh? huh? Me? Yeah. Yep, and just like that, we have our eight. Oh, okay, perfect. Now we can get back to work. Hey. Kento, you can leave now. <laughs> well, Amasawa, now that we've got a full list, we can finally work out the professor's motive. Yes. Yes, I think we're finally ready for some serious sleuthing. Okay. I, yeah. I, I need to know how this is all going to play out, because I have no idea. Firstly... The professor's motive isn't monetary, so what other motives could we possibly theorize? Mm -hmm. Let's see. For money, for love, for revenge, there are plenty of potential reasons. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Amasawa. Say, Amasawa, what do you think would have happened if we weren't there to set those kids straight? Mm. What would have happened? Hmm. Well, they obviously would have continued their delinquent behavior. Yeah, and freaking, um... Um, oh man, this, it's so hard to remember all of their names. There's, we've learned so many names in the past, like, week. But, um, not Reiji Murasaki. He's the dead one. The one that's alive. <laughs> Suo. Um, Suo probably would have ended up dead. Yeah. And well, some of the others probably would have too. Like the girl who was the sugar baby? 
she was we caught her like getting attacked by the king gang right yeah that's safe to say but it's also very likely that they would have been caught eventually every time a crime is repeated the risk of discovery increases in all the cases we looked into the police would have caught the kids eventually if they took the investigation seriously enough mm -hmm. i suppose that's true and one of the students would have com ended up committing murder instead of being killed themselves they would have that he would have killed emily i suppose that's true which means oh so in other words yeah we can predict the outcome the professor was hoping for they get caught and punished they join the neo kahin gang they regret it later i guess they get caught and punished but what what would what would be the point of that like why why would he why would the professor want them to be caught there's a good chance they would have gotten caught and punished for their crimes in some way mm -hmm. yeah that seems to be the most natural outcome most likely sent to an institution of some sort expelled from school and possibly even turned into a criminal case oh what if that was the goal huh? oh what in other words you're saying the professor's goal was to get those students out of serio by getting them enough trouble to be expelled or incarcerated yeah yeah but it's just a theory for now i see but why but it does make quite a lot of sense in this scenario Masawa. let's see if this line of thought leads us to the professor's identity we can move on if not so what do the eight people in our list have in common they're all students at Serio High. But we knew that before we even started this. So they were all in a club. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see him on here either. The boxing guy isn't on here. But he was in the karate club. Kenya was in the karate club. Didn't they say he was in the karate club? Although I don't know about Suo. I don't think he was in a club. He was in the disciplinary committee. Hmm. What indeed? What was the professor's criteria for selecting these students? Um. Mm hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me, Kento. Don't tell me. They all... They all had... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Kento. What is it? Mm. Nah, it's just a coincidence. Right? Kento-kun. Notice something, Kento-kun? No. Well, you were talking about what they might have in common, so I just gave it a thought and... <laughs> but there's no way I'm right. I'm terrible at that detective stuff, you know? <laughs> what? Hey, Kento, just tell us. So, well, uh, all eight students. So, actually, we were on the cultural festival committee. Oh my god. What was that? They were what? Kento! Kento, are you sure? Mm hmm. Yeah. There should be a picture somewhere. Found it. Here. See? All eight of us. And then the ninth. Oh my god. It is her. She wanted revenge. <laughs> really? It can't be. No way! Nagami san, doesn't this mean? Yeah. Yes, it does. We know someone with the motive for turning these eight Serio students into bad apples. In other words. And this theory ties everything we've learned about the professor together into a neat little lead what what do you mean 
Let's start by summarizing the professor's motive. At this point, it's safe to say revenge. Yes, I agree. Revenge sounds like the most fitting motive if the end goal was to get those students expelled or punished. See, I kept thinking in the back of my head, like I just kept thinking like Itakura. She's so smart. She knows pr like programming and stuff. Next up, we've already deduced that the professor has an advanced knowledge of computer programming and networking. Considering the complicated darknet forum, the cheat tool, and the betting site for the Genbukai, I suspect those skills are what drove Koga to curry favor with the professor to benefit the Neokehin game. Also, that delinquent who went to the girls' bar, Kizuna Ashiwara, heard something important when he saw Koga. He had called someone a brat after hanging up the phone. He was likely talking about the professor. Mm -hmm. A brat? Lastly, and this is the big one, there's only one person from the cultural committee who hasn't been caught in any kind of delinquency. Someone who definitely has the motive to seek revenge on the other committee members. And someone with such advanced computer skills, I wouldn't be surprised if that knowledge extended to websites too. I think we finally know who the professor is. Itakura. I love this. That's unfortunate, but she fits the profile to a T. In other words... You're right. The professor's true identity is... Kotoko Itakura. Huh? What? But Itakura... Don't you see? The cultural festival wasn't just a flop for Serio High. It was a catastrophic blow to Itakura's ego. It may have been due to her own attitude, but she had to deal with the committee members arguing with her, blowing off their duties, and even boycotting meetings. The cultural festival was destined to be a failure with that kind of situation, but she still took it so hard that she stopped coming to school entirely. Who would really be surprised to find out she's had a grudge against her former committee members this whole time? Real. No way. Yes. Not only that, Itakura-san is very proficient with computers. She put together the Mystery Trick Encyclopedia in no time, and it's professional level work. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She also tutored Sakura-kun in the Robotics Club with his programming. What? The professor was selling answers to mock exams and stuff on the site, right? You'd have to steal that from the cram school's computers or something. Only a professional hacker could pull that off. About that, there's still something that's been coming to mind every so often. At first, it was just a curious discovery that didn't mean much of anything. Hmm? What is it, Amasawa? Excuse me. Well, when I had you go undercover at Todoroki's gym, do you remember when Itakura-san found a photo of Uru Oshikiri in that weekly magazine? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. That being said... Well, I did some more research on that picture. Turns out, the article it appeared in was pulled several years ago due to a legal claim. What was that? What? Yes. I tried reverse image searching the photo, but it seems all digital versions of the article will pu were pulled as well. My guess would be, the Omi Alliance pressured them into self-censorship at some point. Whatever the case, the fact is that no one should have been able to find that picture unless they somehow accessed the publisher's servers. In other words... So, you think Itakura might actually be that good at hacking? Yes. It's quite likely. Recall how Fudo Oshikiri turned out to be the key to the payback boxer case. What if Itakura-san fed us that information so Oshikiri-kun's crimes would be exposed and he'd face criminal charges? No way. What kind of high schooler would be thinking that far ahead? That being said... I just can't believe it. Not yet. Not the Itakura-san I know. Masawa. Well, let's ask her to come meet with us. We should ask her face to face. And hope the only thing that comes of it is a good laugh. Yes. Agreed. She usually drops by the club room around this time. I'll try reaching out to her. It does make a lot of sense, doesn't it, Doom? Ah! 
I'm a Saba senpai. Damn. <laughs> Did you need something? Oh. Ah, there you are, Yutakura. We just had a quick question for you. Won't take long. <laughs> it's just like, nope. <laughs> what? That's pretty Yakami guilty. She can't get away. Ugh. What the hell? Come on, it's stuck. No way. I think she locked us in. Really? Wait, did she bring a key with her in case this happened? Damn, what the hell? Ugh, she can't run forever. Open, damn it. Oh, I'm sure we're gonna get it, Zanzibar. I guess he forgot his lockpick at home. Ugh. Oh, she's long gone by now. Where is she? It's nighttime? Why couldn't we have done that during the d d during the night? Hey you. A girl just came out of here, right? Kotoko Itakura. itakura -san? Uh, yeah, I saw her. Which way did she go? Out towards the front gate. Outside? Okay, thank you. Ugh. Damn it, we can't lose her. See her anywhere? Yagami-san, look! She didn't go very far. Itakura. Hey! Pinto, I'll take it from here. It's probably best that you don't get involved. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Itakura. <sighs> Running through the courtyard wiped me out. Exercise really isn't my thing. Will you talk to us now? <sighs> Knowing how perceptive you are, I bet you knew what we were going to ask just by looking around the room, right? But no, it's nothing more than a theory. I'd really prefer to learn this was a misunderstanding. <sighs> so, Itakura, if we wanted to run our theory by you, would you deny it? Would you? How weak. Nothing's worse than detectives who don't trust their hunches. Yep. I'm the professor. I'm the one who turned all the cultural committee members into delinquents. Why is like boss what? music coming on? No way. No. You're kidding me. When we gonna you have fight eliminated her? the impossible. Whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Isn't that right? I'm a Sava Senpai. <gasps> why is she acting all evil? Faces every truth equal. But why? You seemed like you were finally happy in the MRC. Tell me, why? <sighs> it's time to talk. Why did you go through all this effort? Well. I first made the website, it was really just because I was bored at home. Eventually, all sorts of people started posting. People venting about their parents or their teachers. People who needed quick money. People craving revenge. And the more advice I gave them to achieve their desires, the more popular I became. Before I really knew it, people had started calling me the professor. But why did you meddle with the lives of your cultural committee? Was that for revenge? Revenge? Eh, 
Kinda. I mean, I just figured it'd be easier for me to go back to school if I got rid of all the people I hate. Damn! But now, <laughs> none of that matters. Sorry to keep you waiting, Professor. Koga. Koga. You're late. My apologies. Some is Koga here to protect herself? I see now. Her confession was just to buy her time. Koga. You've really hit rock bottom. So broke that you have to lean on a schoolgirl? <laughs> Goodness, you really are unbelievable. I suppose you're only capable of surface level observations after all. What? She's already a professional level hacker. We partnered with her because we are genuinely impressed with her talent. We don't think of her as a mere high schooler, like you seem to be doing. Not that I should expect someone as narrow-minded as yourself to see the true value of the professor. After all, a hacker's age is irrelevant to their work. Consider the US Department of Defense. Their website was hacked by a high schooler, and they in turn praised his achievement. Or the recent incident of a 16-year-old netting tens of millions of yen through cryptocurrency. I've even heard of criminal organizations in South America training children to be hackers. This proves my premise. A hacker's age has nothing to do with ability. We intend to nurture her talents for the sake of the neo Kahin gang, to surpass even our previous efforts. So, she wants- Koga, tell oh, me. Oh, shit. What's your scheme here? I know you weren't turning all these kids rotten without some kind of reason. Hmm. We shall utilize the dark web to create the greatest black market ever. The student forum and gambling website were nothing but practice runs for our true vision. You're making a black market site? My firm. Koga and Company has been dealing in illicit goods such as firearms for several years now. Come to think of it, he's been selling guns to the public in Kamrocho too. Oh, are they gonna let me pause here? Okay. So she She turned all these kids into delinquents so that they could get caught. But she's, she's like the biggest delinquent of them all. She doesn't think she's not going to get caught too eventually. Unfortunately, the underground economy is already flooded with competition. Not to mention your meddling. It's nigh impossible for newcomers such as ourselves to break into a market where there are such dominant powers. However, the dark web is still largely unexplored territory. An entirely untraceable, secure territory at that. Despite these benefits, no one has capitalized on this untapped potential within our country. This means the entirety of online criminal business in all of Japan is ours for the taking. Itokura, this sound like something you want to do? Help Koga enable violence across the whole country? I just can't take the horrible clickishness of it all anymore. Ever since that godforsaken festival. It's like I thought, she's still trying to cope with what happened in the cultural festival committee. And it's not like it ends with school. I'm trying to fit in at some desk job for the rest of my life. Just the thought of it makes me sick. I refuse to live in constant fear of getting excluded for no reason beyond getting on someone popular's bad side. That's why I've dedicated all my efforts to what's most important in life. The strength to stand alone. Itokura-san. Well, Professor, let's take our leave. Please, it's too cold out. Sorry to keep you waiting, Koga. Let's go. We have plenty of work to do. Itakura, stop. Are you really sure about this? 
joining up with such terrible people? I've made up my mind. Yagami-san, I suggest you stop interfering. Unless you want to see what'll happen to the girl if you don't. Yes, just stay right where you are. Heed my words. Pursue us, and the girl gets one right through the skull. Oh, hell no. Damn it. It occurs, son. Why? Yakumi-san, what should we do? She wasn't shivering. She was trembling. What? Excuse me. What are you talking about, Yagami-san? Never mind. Her next move is to track down Itakura and figure out how to rescue her. Would it really be a rescue, though? She rather seemed to prefer leaving with them. We just have to find her and talk her out of it somehow. Messing around with that gang is only going to end poorly for her. Plus, I'm Asawa. you can't let a member of the MRC go down the wrong path that easily. That'd make me one... Oh yeah, we're the advisor. That'd make me one crappy advisor, wouldn't it? Uh, you're huh. absolutely right. And one more thing. You forgot an important point, Amasawa. After all, a truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you got me there. We sure have our work cut out for us, though. Let's head back to the club room. I want to talk out our next yes. steps. All right, sounds good. Okay. Gagami-san! Where's Itakura? We're not sure. Koga from the Neo Kehin gang took her. <gasps> what? She got kidnapped? No. No, Itakura-san seemed to want to go with them. Wait, what? So, what do we do now? We get to work. Right. Wow. I mean, I get it, but how? Hmm. Where do you think she went? Do you know anything about the Neo Kehin gang having a hideout? Nope. Back when I was investigating the robotics club, I found a spot that seems like it was theirs. Unfortunately, they probably moved on from there by now. Oh. But... Luckily, we do have one lead to work with. I actually memorized the license plate of the car that took Itakura. Huh? What? You did? That's crazy! Yeah, it was basically out of instinct. Although the police would be the only ones who could do something with it. Hmm. Should we file a report then? That you saw a minor get kidnapped? Nope. No, that should be our last resort. And the police involved guarantees Itakura ends up in some sort of serious trouble in the end. Ah, that's true. Um... Should we split up and search the town ourselves? We know they have to be based somewhere in Ijincho. No. Well, that'd take forever with just the three of us. Ijincho's freaking huge! <sighs> Good point. Hmm? Wait, maybe we could actually make it work. What? The bikers! If we have the car's license plate number, there is one way we might be able to track it down. Oh, I thought we were, I thought they were talking about like searching the whole town. I was like, we have like a large group of people <laughs> who would follow Yagami to the end of the earth and they have vehicles. Like we could cover some serious ground. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> yes. Okay, where is he going at? We could ask Sukumo. Yeah, we could ask all of my Serio contacts. We could try to contact Itakura. I feel like Tsukumo is the most logical answer. But I feel like this is the answer. Like, everybody rallies together. Let's try this one. Oh, you guys can't see. 
we could ask all my serio contacts here let me let me go up here ask sukumo ask all serio contacts or try to contact itakura i'm gonna go with this one because i hope this is the answer because we've used sukumo like we, we've used sukumo for everything you know we already know he can do it okay Oh, right. There is one thing that might work. We ask everyone to lend us a hand. What? Who's everyone exactly? Everyone! Yes! No, they... No, no, not the... Not this. Uh, guys, I'm gonna cry. This is, this is my weakness. This is my weakness. Rallying everybody together for a cause. Yeah, getting our strength from everybody. One giant spirit bomb, yes! All the students I've met here at Serio. Jincho is definitely too big for the three of us, but not for dozens of people. The numbers are on our side that way. Uh, oh, huh. now there's a way to go about it. Ah. Yeah, since we know the car's license plate, we won't have to worry about false IDs either. This could actually work. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to work together and crack it for good. Yes, let's do this! Hey guys. I want to see the Sorry bikers to too. So late. Like I told you before, the cops can't get involved in this. That's why I Hanasaki. <laughs> sure, but why do you need us, though? Well, it's to rescue Itokura. Beyond that, though, I can't share the details. Sorry. Hey, Yagami. This is weird. Beyond a couple of exceptions, everyone here was on the cultural festival committee at the same time as Itokura. And she was the one who we all kind of, you know. Oh, now that you mention it. And you've been after this professor person. Is that related to this somehow? Well, look who'd be right at home unrelated. in the MRC. I also can't say each of you had no part in the events leading up to this either. I see. I don't know what's going on, but I knew we'd have to face the music someday. Same here. And it's always bugged me. I feel terrible that I've never summoned the courage to apologize either. Yeah, but I was basically just a shadow member on the committee, remember? It's I like didn't join I... in the first place because I drew the short straw. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I didn't even want to be there. Up meetings, at least at first, <laughs> even though all you did was eat our snacks. Huh. Did I? Yeah, and you gave Kotoko a real attitude, too. In fact, you were one of the first to give her the cold shoulder. Don't tell me you forgot either. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> no, no, you be. You sure did. So don't go pretending none of this applies to you. Guys. Okay, guys. I just need you to do one thing for me. Bring it together. I'm going to give you a license plate number. I want you to search the town high and low for that car. It's a black four-door sedan. And I'm talking about covering the entire town. So we're going to need serious numbers on this. Bikers. Ask your friends to lend a hand if you can. Yagami, don't you worry about it. You need the help. Boxers. I'll round up Made in Heaven for you. Yes. Oh, that'd be a huge. Yes. Help. Yagami san, you have the robotics club support as yes! well. Yes. Itokura san is a highly valued member of the team. And you know the rabbits would be oh. happy to help if it's for you, Yagami yes. san. We're out and I about so it. much. We know the city like the back of our hands. Yes. We'll find that car no problem. Yes. Thank you, Okitagawa. Nishizono. All right, everyone. Hit me up the moment you see that car. Understood. <laughs> what do you mean Itokura Senpai's missing? I don't know all the details. Let's just trust Yagami san on this one. Besides, if one of our own is in danger, then we're all in danger until we mount a rescue. Yeah. You're right. So, what's the plan, Okitagawa? Robots! We're going to handle this the way we know best. Robots! Here's our strategy. All right, rabbits. Time for us to calm the town. Go, hop, step, rabbit! Woo! Ah, a 
Pro? At what? <laughs> no. She goes by the professor. Ah? Huh? That's English, though. Yeah, sure is. Get with the times. Oh, you little asshole. <laughs> How'd you throw that foreign bullshit at <laughs> me? Fucking Todoroki, the man. Word is sensei! Uh, you're so embarrassing. Made in heaven rise again tonight, fellas. Let's fire them up! Yeah! We're all in our poses, too. You. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, I love this. I'm so happy. I'll ask the karate club guys and my uh, girlfriends to help out. Oh, he was in the karate club. I knew somebody was in the karate club. <laughs> and wait, how many girl? Wait, did he say girlfriends? How many sugar mamas does he have? Yeah. Yeah, but make sure you don't spill all the details of the case to them, okay? Yeah. Sure, no problem. Okay, we're just, we're not, okay. While you two focus your efforts on the crowd support, I'll attempt a different approach. Hmm? And what would that be? Um... I'm going to reach out to Itakura-san's parents. He might be able to talk some sense into her. I see. Although, it'll be bad if they get the police involved. Yes. Well, I'll make sure to observe her parents' reactions as I speak with them. I'll only proceed if they appear to understand the situation. Alright, that sounds good. Well then. Alright, I think it's time to check out that Neo Kahin Gang hideout I found when I was helping the robotics club. Pretty sure it was in the building on East... Surukami Highway with the Yamakawa towel signs. Looks like the lights are off. Maybe I should take a quick peek inside anyway. Yep, this place is deserted. No surprise there. Gangs usually don't keep their hideouts once they get made. Unless they have a good reason. Hmm. Guess this was a bust. Hmm? Oh. Uh. Hello. Uh? Here you are, Yagami. Koga-san really did call it. Nah. I don't really have time to deal with you. Well, we've got our orders, so you'd better get ready to bleed out! It's your funerals. trouble aiming at his enemies here. I've never been blinded before. Damn, there's no end to him. What's up? What's up? These small fries boring you, Yagami-san? 
Now this is becoming an official pain in the ass. Huh? huh? Who the hell are you? Wah! Who's that? Oh, Sakuma! Weak sauce ganging up on a guy like that. Guess you need to learn a lesson or two, huh? Let's go! Kenya's Dumbass. here! And Todoroki. Todoroki will beat the shit out of them with his with his words. They will be crying home to their mama just from getting a lashing from Todoroki. <laughs> Yo, motherfuckers! I don't give a shit if you're boxers or pro wrestlers or whatever the fuck! Oh shit, let's go! <laughs> Former OPBF champ, go Todoroki! I'm gonna turn you all into paste! Coach. Hey, coach, can I jump in too? Yeah. Get him, Oshikiri. This is for Yagami. We're all running wild tonight. Kill him! Feeding time, fuckers! Kill him! Tear him to goddamn bits! Yeah! Fight me! How about you and me, Tango? Damn it. Hey. Hey, Meathead, I'm up first. Kenya-kun! What? Kenya-kun? Looking sharp. Guess giving your dad the old one-two really put some hairs on your chest, huh? Where is Pops, anyway? Mm. Oh, he's done for. Guess he whooped his ass a little too good, huh? <sighs> he just gets shit-faced all day every day now. Pissing and moaning about he lost his wife and kid. What's that? My, my dad is. But hey, none of that matters now that we're all here, does it? <laughs> I can't believe I can't, I get to fight Yagami and Kenya Kun today. This is the best day of the year. Hmm? <laughs> Bye. Huh? What the? You bastard! See you later. I've got to go find your boss. Sorry, everybody, but you've got this from here. Yeah. No worries. See you around. Damn it. Yeah. Hey. Ah, oh, don't be down, meathead. I'm more than enough for you alone. Can't lose. Now, bring it. Come on. You ought to watch your mouth, Kenya-kun. Don't blame me if I send you crying to daddy. Let's go! Justinian! Hello! How's it going? You are just in time. This is the most... This is the best game ever. <laughs> this is awesome! Whew, thank goodness for Todoroki and his crew. But I'm out of clues. Hmm? Ishizono? Every club? I, I didn't mean to, Justinian. I didn't mean to. Hi, Uriah. Um, every club is gonna use, like, they're, they're all gonna have their time to shine in that they will use their talents and their specific skill sets to help Yagami in some way. And it's great. I love it. Ah! Yeah. Yagami-san. So basically, now it's time to have a dance off with the Neo Kahin gang. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Hello, Yagami-san? I found it. The license plate you're looking for. What was that? What? Where? So, in front of the office complex on Hyakke Alley. There's a shady looking guy outside too. I'll send you a picture. Koga. That means I know where his hide we know where his hideout is. Excuse me. I'll keep an eye on him for now. Can you be here soon? Yeah. Yeah, I'll head over there right now. But if it gets dangerous, get out of there immediately. Got it? Let everyone else know you found the car too, okay? Yes, got it. All right, time to head out. So for the dance off. 
Oh, they didn't move their, H their HQ far from their old one, huh? Or their hideout, whatever. Shizono, Takahashi, or Takanashi, whatever. Where'd the guy in sunglasses go? The one from the picture. So, looks like he left someone else in charge and took off somewhere. I see. Okay. I wouldn't want him spotting me from there anyway. Hey! Hey, Yakami-san. That room up on the third floor is the only one with lights on. Is that where Kotoko is? Yeah. Probably. Excuse me! What are you gonna do, Yagami-san? The third floor, huh? Guess I'll have to sneak in. Huh? No! This got so unawesome. You're gonna sneak in? Alone? Yeah. Yeah, it's more convenient that way. I'll probably have to talk things out with her first. Otoko. I don't want to stealth. No, hmm? don't make me. Amasawa's calling? Sorry. Moshi moshi. Hello? What's up? Hello, Yagami-san. I did some research into Itakura-san's parents. Amasawa. You find anything? Uh oh Are they both dead? Itakura-san's father passed away in an ac traffic accident back when she was still a middle schooler. Come to think of it, I remember hearing from Takanashi that Itakura lives with just her mother. Yes. Not only that, I also learned her father was a brilliant programmer. He was a network engineer for some high-profile company. And he taught Itakura-san computer programming from a very early age. I see. I see. Itakura got her skills from her dad. By the way, what'd her mom have to say about her? Well, actually, Yagami-san, her mother's currently hospitalized. Hmm? Really? Why? Um... Apparently, she's rather sickly. She's been hospitalized for a while now. Huh? What? Are you serious? Yes. When I saw her mother in her weakened state, I couldn't bring myself to talk to her about the case. No, that's fine. But if she doesn't have any parents at home, that means... Yes. Yeah, she's been all alone for quite some time. I see. Hmm? Is that... What's up? Amasawa? Sorry, I'll be hanging up now. She hung up. Oh, well that's not worrisome at all. Well, thank you both so much for your help. It's getting late. Could you let the other rabbits know they can head home now? Are you gonna be okay in there? Probably not. Yeah, you just get the rabbits off the streets and leave the rest to me. Sure thing. Um, Yagami-san? Take good care of Kotoko, okay? Alright, let's get to the third floor. I should start by finding a good climbing spot. Okay, climbing I can do. Climbing we can do. It's no stealth, okay? No stealth. Hello, Renameless. The stealth in my video game. dare they <sighs> all right where is he takura hmm? yagami-san sorry for hanging up on you before I was calling from the hospital where Itakura-san's mother is staying when I noticed some suspicious individuals. I took a quick picture, sending it to you now. What are they doing there? <laughs> what is Food Man doing there? These guys are... They're Neo Keihin gang members, correct? Thank you so much, Amasawa. I'm real busy now, but I'll update you soon. Understood. 
Are they there to like, I mean, they're not there to hurt her sickly mom, are they? What's the Neo Kahin gang doing at that hospital? Hopefully a Takura will be willing to explain. Also, I hope I don't run into Koga. I mean, if her mother needs some kind of really expensive care, then she would have been trying to make money off of the website, right? Or maybe that was just, that was just the precursor to their real operation and then she, she was gonna use her cut maybe to, to help her mom. I don't know. It's Akura. She's there without anybody guarding her? That's weird. Huh. Huh? Yagami-san? What are you doing here? I'm here to have a talk with you. What? You are? I see. Well, at least you can still talk. And it doesn't seem like they're restraining you here. Mm. Huh? Hey! What? Hey. Takura, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. How'd you like the MRC and the Robotics Club? What? What are you talking about? Besides, because if you ask me, I'd say they were downright, downright gratifying to you. Huh. I mean, eventually, you seem genuinely happy working on MRC duties and teaching Sakura-kun programming. <sighs> I still remember all of us in the robotics club getting stopped. Not the ramen. Not the ramen. Uh. Getting ramen together too. Look here. What do you actually want? For me to call the guards? Hey. Itakura, don't you think you've already taken a huge step forward compared to when you stopped attending school and isolated yourself? What? Itakura. I want the strength to survive on my own. That's totally fine. But you have the option of choosing a different life. That's what I think. <sighs> that first big step. It takes real courage. Takura, you know I know you have that courage now. You can break through the shell we you've built around oh. you. Come back to us. <laughs> yes, Greg, I will. Anything you ask. <laughs> How can I say no? <laughs> Come back to Serio with me. Too late for that. What do you mean by that? Uh, uh. Hmm? Itakura? Really? Don't tell me. The things you did as a professor. Did they really turn out how you wanted? Oh. Maybe at first, your goal was to get the rest of the Cultural Festival Committee to drop out. But... Is that really all it boils down to? You're telling me nobody's been whispering in your ear at the very least? What? What are you trying to say? I've got proof. You're being coerced into acting as a professor, at least to some degree. We do? Hento's wallet. Uh, I don't know how that... Letter from the disciplinary committee. Six match evidence. Professor orders notes. A photo from the hospital. Does the Kahin gang knows about her mom and they're they're using that against her? Apparently, Amasawa took a trip to the hospital that's caring for your mother. What? How dare she? And this is a photo she took from outside your mother's room. Oh. I believe those guys are with the neo Kahin gang. And I know exactly how low they'll stoop. Threats and coercion are just the tip of the iceberg. What... What are you saying? The crimes, the delinquency, 
Tell me, how many... How much of that was your own idea? <sighs> well, uh, I... <sighs> the neo Kahin gang's essentially using my mother as a sort of insurance. Insurance? She's their ace in the hole, should I make any attempts to betray them. But it's not like I'm being directly threatened or something. That sounds like... You sure about that? That sounds like a yeah, direct threat to me. My working relationship with the gang is not one built on trust. We're both fully aware we're using each other. But it's not like I completely lose out in this arrangement. I'm willing to accept the risks. So you're saying you actually want to keep all this up? I told you. I'm building the strength to stand alone. Obviously, that means I don't need your help. Is that true, though? Aren't you being blackmailed? That's not something you can work out on your own. Just drop it! Or do I need to call backup? Oh. I've made my decision. I'll be fine on my own. So just... Just leave me alone, got it? So stubborn. I'm doubt I'm going to win her over like this. We need the bikers! That means I'm out of options for now. I'll try again once I come up with a new strategy. I get it. It's your life. So it's your call. I'll leave you to stew on that for a while. But if you ever need my help, all you have to do is tell me. You've got my number? Hit me up and I'll be there. <sighs> all right. I get it. She's okay, right? Help. Huh? What'd you just say, Yutakura? Well, that was quick. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. Baby do girl. This. Baby girl. Please help. Baby girl. It's okay, Yutakura. <laughs> help me, please. I really am being forced to do this. I I can't leave. Or they said they're gonna they'll, they'll kill my mom. I... And you know what? They probably would. Like I said, all you had to do was tell me. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. <laughs> we just gotta kill them all. <sighs> okay. No? It's not that that's not <sighs> this kind of game isn't like that. Okay. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. I'm counting on you now, okay? We need the bikers! Hey. Who was that? Hmm? Oh, just a friend. Hey. So, Itakura, I'll ask you again. How much of this was your idea? Oh. All of it. I wanted to get revenge on the committee, just like you did, Duck deduced mike was the first one she posted that request about wanting to make some easy money and that's when you suggested the sugar baby gig mm -hmm. i taught her everything too eight plans identifying good marks marks to rip off even exit strategies for when things went south did you know the reason takanashi wanted the money in the first place mm -hmm. no i had no idea she wanted to cover my tuition so then what happened? Micah gradually started having more trouble with her targets, and I definitely didn't want her in any danger. So I decided to hire her some protection. In other words... And that's when the neo Kahin gang showed up. I suppose. Yep. They didn't seem to have any other jobs going. They took mine at a really low rate. But after that, everything started escalating with Koga and his crew. Eventually... They had me contributing to illegal enterprises of all sorts, not just those involving serial students. This neo is the worst. The neo k hanging is really something else. When it comes to evil, they never run out of ideas. It's almost like they know how to convert crime into cash. Once Koga and his men got involved, there was enough action that it was only natural for word about the professor to spread around town, let alone serial high. Hey. When did the actual corrosion start? Not long after I first hired them, 
I expressed my disapproval towards Koga and his gang's approach to criminal activity, particularly the extreme measures they often take. Uh, uh. I didn't expect that to go over well with them. I never thought they'd do anything so heinous as take my mother hostage. I realize now. I made a deal with the devil, all because of some stupid revenge I thought I deserved. Let's just get out of here for now. Is it safe for me to leave though? I mean, my mom's... Hey. Don't worry. It's already taken care of. She's safe now. What? Really? Come on, Itakura. It's time to end this. <sighs> when do the robots come in? Got it. Okay. I'll trust you, Yagami-san. I want robots! Did that guy shit his pants? Why did that sound so squishy? <laughs> Why did that sound effect sound so squishy? Yagami-san! Ugh. Looks like we're busted. We can take them on. Maybe. Professor! What's going on here? I don't believe this aligns with our agreement. Are we clear? You promised me. Once we assisted you in leading those eight students astray, you'd shift your focus to our organization's work. <sighs> you people haven't exactly been sticking to your promises either. Didn't your crew take jobs under my name without my permission? Also, I never agreed to take advantage of that robotics expert. This is stupid. We prefer to think of those examples of flexing our roles in the organization. More importantly, though... Are you sure? Do you actually not care if something were to happen to your mother? Oh. Oh, about that, Koga. You really think you've got the upper hand? Who did he call... Did he call in somebody to take care of the Kahin gang that was there at the moment? I guess. I mean, if he had the right connections, he could get her moved to a hospital that a hidden location. But I don't know who he would have to do that. What? Kogasan, we've got a call from our hospital crew. Oh, they're all eating ramen. Are they all eating ramen? Please tell me they're eating ramen. We bribed them with ramen. What about? Is something wrong? Sounds like they've started. Dinner? The robots? Come on, what is it? <sighs> I'm tired of shit. How long do we gotta keep watch? Ooh, I'm starving. Do you want some ramen? What? Oh, it's ghost. <laughs> ghost? Ah, uh, ghost? Ow! What? What are they doing here? Yeah, my biker boys. Let's go. Yippee! Hey. Yippee! Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> we meet again. Dead meat. Good thing you're already in a hospital. I'm not holding back like last time. Huh? You... You were? Should I make it so every joint in your body <sighs> bends the other way? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wonder how long it'll take him to fix everything in you that I'm about to mess up. Uh, Kasai? Shit! We're fucked! We're so fucked! That guy's off his nuts! Huh? Back 
backup! I'm getting backup! Hey, wait for me! Listen up. We're on guard here 24-7 until Yagami finishes off those assholes. Right! Yeah! Let's go! I don't think anybody's getting through all of those guys. And they have leather jackets, so that gives them, what? like, plus points to their strength and armor. Hey, Kasai, what the hell are you doing? It's... it's made in heaven! They've got the hospital locked down! Yeah! Hey. Kasai! Kasai, what is it? Yagami! What did you do, Yagami? I just went where you led me, Koga. What? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks to all the scheming you did while taking advantage of Itakura, I got led all over town, cleaning up your messes, messes, and making allies. Yeah! Uh. With high schoolers! Woo! With the power of friendship! I don't know who you're referring to. Return the professor to me, now. Hmm? Robots! Hmm? I'm dying and going to made in heaven. <laughs> I got the what? gun. This has got to be better than than the actual main story of this game, right? There's no way that that uh, this. It, uh, there's no way. What in the hell? Wow! Yeah! Robots! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> nice one, Okitagawa. I love this too, Silent King. Oh my god, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. And yes, Patrick, I've seen GTO. It's a GTO. Uh, great teacher Onizuka, for anybody who doesn't know. It's uh, it's like an old, old school anime. Um, it's one of Husbando's favorites. So we watched it together once a while back and then we watched one or two of the live actions as well. Yeah, really good. Hi, library nerd. <laughs> yeah. Phew, <sighs> <sighs> looks like we got the stun mechanic working just in time. Mm -hmm. Oh man. This is hard. This thing is hard to steer. I'm ten times more impressed with Yagami-san's skills now than I was during the competition. Kurumazaki. Look at that, Kurumazaki. The robot you wanted to make actually saved the day. <laughs> say the say the line. Say the line. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Yay. No, I'm crying. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good design after all. Oh. Oh. Curse you, Yagami! Takura, shield your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Hanasaki! <laughs> what? The hell is that? My eyes! How about some explosions? It's Junpei Hanasaki of the Bakuon Ryu. Got a little present for ya! <laughs> hot, 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 hot! My eyes, Ooh. my eyes! Oh my gosh. I can't. Let's go. Okay. Shit. Whoever can still move, follow me! 
Bro, you guys are outmatched, outclassed by a bunch of high schoolers. I... I can't run anymore. Look at me, son. What are we... What are we gonna do? Koga should be on his way. What? Koga? Is it time for the dance off? Me away from my crew intentionally. No matter. With one call, they'll be here in moments. I wouldn't count on that. What? What now? Going somewhere, jackass? Well, I think you're staying put till the police get here. <laughs> Bikers! <laughs> Torment of doing that bike request line so worth it. Right here. Throbbing hearts, feet at the end. My one true love is the asphalt. My first kiss tasted of death. <laughs> Time to die. Let's go to Valhalla. But not really, okay? Come on, angels. Let's ride out to the next line. <laughs> What'd you do? Delay them off somehow? Somehow. No backup today, Koga. It's finally over. <sighs> this is awesome. Professor, you know how highly I value your skills. Shut up! Uh, you what? I genuinely have the utmost respect for you. Please consider the value of our partnership. You called her a so, brat. So you respected me by taking my mother hostage. Really? Didn't you threaten to taint her IV? <gasps> uh, that, that was simply a momentary lapse of judgment. I needed insurance in case you turned on us. Are you for real right now? I think you're Please, right. Professor. That is Ray Chase, isn't it? Consider your situation. Let's say you attempted to re-enter civilian life. Do you think society could put a proper value on you? No. Those odds are slim to none. Hammer the nail that sticks out. That's how society works. A cruel dog-eat-dog -dog world of deceit and sabotage. People masking their true selves every day, all to avoid the wrath of their peers and superiors. And no matter how hard you try to make it unscathed, someone will be waiting for the opportunity to use you. Man, your... they got but the talent sure for voice actors for this game. Most, aren't you? <laughs> Everyone's in this game! <laughs> Professor, so long as you attempt to conform to society, you will always feel constrained, even suffocated. However, the neo Kahim gang would see you flourish to your full potential giving you the freedom and strength you desire. Can we shut him up already? And we would be most appreciative of your talents. So, Professor, please, come back into the fold. <sighs> no matter what I do, I'm going to have to interact with people. In the back of my mind, I've known that all along. I know. Sounds but whether horrible. I knew it or not, I kept pretending it wasn't true. Ever since the day I left Serio, that is, until Yagami-san told me that I have all the courage I need. Yeah, you courage. do, girl. So, I've decided I'm done lying to myself. Hmm. Well, Koga, sounds like she's made up her mind. The professor's done with you and your gang. And as her advisor, I support her decision. I mean, she's coming with me. Not you. What a shame. Truly a spoiled brat to the end. 
I don't know why I bothered trying to reason with you. And his true colors come back out again. Your performance is lackluster when you're forced to work. But it seems I have no choice in the matter anymore. They just don't give Yagami, up, do they? I'm taking you out right now. And you'll die knowing Kotoko Itokura will work for me until she's dead too. Finally, you're talking like someone I need to hit. <laughs> die, Yagami! <laughs> Is Yagami the best RGG protagonist? And, hello? And there's not gonna be any more judgment games from what I hear. Some food. Snake? Let's go. What the hell's that? Okay, okay. We got each other. Sorry for the hold up, Yagami-san. That Honda dude took us some time. Oh, looks to me like you're all good here. Ah. Yagami-san! So I guess we really cracked the case, huh? Yeah. Yagami-san, what are you gonna do with these guys? Good question. 
They might blab about the professor if we turn him into the police, so... Dump him in the sea? What? What? <laughs> you, you're joking, right? No need for the theatrics, Yagami-san. I've already wiped every record of the professor's involvement with the neo Kahin gang. You can take them to the police now. <laughs> She's got it covered. So there's no evidence of the professor left? In that case, sounds like he's just another urban legend now. An urban legend? That's true. I doubt the police would even listen to a story about a high schooler's secret website where wishes were granted. I also doubt you'll find any reliable corroborating witnesses. So, dumped in the sea, taken to the station. What'll it be, Koga? Planning to swim there or something? Actually, he did mention once he was in the swimming club in high school. He, he was in a club too! Hopefully he doesn't wash up on the beach somewhere. I can't believe he just threw himself in the ocean. I'll destroy you one day! Just you wait! You're <laughs> me! Man. That was... Thanks for the help, everyone. Finally, we're done. Kotoko! Thank God you're okay. Itokura-senpai! Let's work together again sometime! Yeah! <sighs> you all know uh, what I did, right? The things I've put you through. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I should. Uh, I I need to own up to what I've done. Own up? How do you plan to do that, Itokura-san? What I've done is absolutely inexcusable. So, that's why I, I'm quitting Serio for good. No. no way. If you drop out of Serio, what will you do instead? I haven't decided yet. How does that help anybody? Maybe I'll register at a vocational school and get a job to pay for it. Then I guess uh, get hired by some company, hopefully. It's not like I wouldn't be qualified. You can't do that. Please don't quit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sakura. But Itokura will be so screwed if you leave and lonely too. If I don't take responsibility for what I did to you, I'll never be able to get past this. Come on, everybody else, chime in! Hold up. What? You don't need to be sorry for what you did. If anything, I'm grateful. It's thanks to you that I was able to get back into racing again. Mm hmm Besides, we're the ones who sent the cultural festival down the tubes by treating you so badly. If you're gonna drop out, then I am too. It's the only fair thing to do. What? Uh, what are you saying? Yeah! No, got so. point, you know, We all played a part in what happened to you. It isn't fair if you're the only one taking the fall. So if you're dropping out of school, so am I. Oh, no, why are you being so stupid again? <laughs> you're the one being stupid, Kotoko. How is it you don't understand? None of us blame you for our decisions. Besides, are you really gonna throw away everything Yagami-san's done for you? Uh, Takanashi-san's right. If you're only quitting for our sakes, then you should already know this isn't the optimal outcome. That's right, Itokura. We were just as bad as you. Actually, we were even worse. 
All we had to do was be honest with you, but instead we just cut you out. <sighs> Get in there. <laughs> uh, well, sorry for ditching so many meetings and eating all the chips. <laughs> And maybe I didn't have the best attitude, so, I mean, you shouldn't quit school. Itokura-san, look how many friends you have now. Don't you think it'd be best to join them at school? Oh. Really? That would be... okay? Stop. My heart can't handle this. Itakura. Come on back with us. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why is this optional? Why is this optional? Yagami-san. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Play. <laughs> I feel like Clay is always coming in when I'm crying, and he's like, why is she crying again? <laughs> she, <laughs> she's always crying. <laughs> Stop crying over video games, bunny. I can't. I can't. Nagami-san, thank you so much for everything. Wait, no, this it's ending, guys. The school stories are ending. I'm gonna miss these kids. And the bikers and the, the boxing guys. And my, my robots, my robot crew. They're my favorite. Yeah. Looks like we finally solved the case of the Serio High Professor. Yes. yes, and even better news. <laughs> The MRC is stronger than ever, with Itokura-san back in the fold, and with a brand new lease on life. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it. Sis? Maybe she can even, even handle some of the club duties so Sis can take the backseat for a while to focus on studying for once in her life. <sighs> hey, that's... Oh. Oh no. I forgot about the mock exams coming up. Oh, whatever. I'm a Sawa senpai. In that case, would you like me to do some snooping around online? I'll see if I can find the answer keys for you. No. Um, no thanks. I'd rather not res resurrect the professor for this. Plus, I'm still one of the better students here. Hey! Actually, maybe you should take her up on that honor offer. All the other students you'll be going up against have been sitting hard while you've been out chasing cases. <sighs> uh, I'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Probably. To some extent. I'm a Sawa. Cracking a case is good and all, but it'd still be bad news if you wound up failing your entrance exams over it. Wait, Yagami, are you are you suggesting that she cheat too? A truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur, remember? <sighs> oh, that's so unfair to use in this situation. Yagami san. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, huh? Glad to hear it. Oh. Ain't seekers.
it's over. I think game of the year is gonna be Serio High School Stories. <laughs> oh god. Uh, 